Welcome back, it's Carrie Ann, and this week's book pick is the graphic novel Super Narwhal and Jelly Jolt. My daughter, when she saw this book, was the first thing she grabbed. She has a thing for narwhals. They're sort of like the unicorns of the sea. I really like this book is because one, it was really funny, and two, me and my friend were always sort of like talking about narwhals. Narwhal has it in him that he is going to be a superhero. That's it, just his destiny. That's what he's determined to do and shares this great idea with his friend Jelly. But Jelly's a little skeptical because, you know, to be a superhero there are some qualifications. A super outfit. Got that. Super name. Got that. Or even a super secret identity. Got that. Clearly, Narwhal is destined to be a superhero. Wait a minute, there is one other thing you need if you're gonna be a superhero, and that's an ability. And Jelly just doesn't see Narwhal's super ability, he doesn't seem to have this ability to do kind of anything. But through watching Narwhal interact with friends, they realize that Super Narwhal's ability is... Dun, 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 dun. Being able to bring the super out in other people. The narwhal has this ability that whatever he sets out to do, he can do. He doesn't let others deter him. And it is this optimistic mindset and really this ability to change how other people feel. Another funny part in the book is when um, the narwhal finds a sea star who wants to go up in the sky with all the other stars and has been dreaming of that. So the narwhal, of course, tries to throw the star up in the air. In the middle of the story, it's sort of a, a comic version of Super Narwhal and Jelly Jolt that the two of them sort of created and share an actual super adventure. A really fun read, and I love the premise of the story. I love the characters, which your kids will too. Graphic novels are a great way to entice, you know, maybe reluctant readers, but also they're just a great way to express a story that relies more on a little more on the visual than just the text. There's also a portion in this book when they're talking about super abilities because jellyfish do have an ability. There's a section in the story that talks about other animals and their abilities. So these are natural abilities that can come across as superpowers, but it's done in the the same illustration treatment as the book. They're reading the story and in the middle of the story they're getting this other piece of knowledge related to the story. Just a quick point, um, but walking away with some interesting fact or tidbit on animals. So that's this week's book pick, the graphic novel Super Narwhal and Jelly Jolt. So on Wednesdays, we're here sharing some great books, books that you may not have considered adding to your child's library, but can be your way of sharing your inner geek with your kids. And superheroes, you can't get any more geekier, geekier than that. Just having a little fun. Make sure to subscribe to catch more book reviews on Wednesdays. See ya. One to be moat. Thank you.